football player Buck Allen. He rushed for 25 career touchdowns and a couple of scoring receptions as well. In his final 19 games as a Trojan, he had 13 games with over 100 yards in rushing. On the community service side, Buck made visits to local hospitals and spoke with community kids about staying in school. Buck Allen is the first in his family to graduate from college. He's an incredible success story. I met Buck on his very first day at USC when he arrived, and he has come a long, long way. Buck, we are really, really proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, Buck Allen. How y'all doing? I want to thank President Nikias, uh, Mr. Pat Hayden, and John McKay, alumni, family members, friends, and most of all, to my fellow USC student athlete. We did it. If you would have told me four years ago that I'd be up here right now trying to do this speech, graduating from this amazing place, I would have said you were crazy. Totally crazy. And it's not just because I don't like giving speeches, but because the distance I traveled in the last four years feel like a million miles. I want to say a few things about my journey. Today is a good day to talk about our journey. I come from a little town outside of Tallahassee, Florida, called Miklosukee. It's about as far as from Los Angeles as you can get. And I don't mean just in terms of miles. We got one store in town, the local cow mart, and a blinking light. <laughs> And man, it's not even a regular traffic light, it just blinks. <laughs> a lot of my friends and family still live there. And like a lot of small southern towns, Mississippi have a lot of sad stories. When there was no money for electricity, electricity, my grandma always managed to find a way to make it work. My mom also took care of me by making the difficult decision to let my grandma raise me. No mother ever wants to give her child up, but it was really the right thing for the both of us. Sometimes you just have to know when asking for help is the best thing to do. My family is here today, Rosa Brown, my grandmother, Harlem Brown, my granddad, <laughs> Deontay Lilly, my little brother, and Melissa Brown, my wonderful mother. But my older brother, Vaughn, my role model, isn't here today. He's in prison in Tallahassee, Florida. Every day I miss him. When folks ask me how I would spend my money, the only thing I really want is a good lawyer so he can get justice in my brother's case. It's also important that my little brother, Deontay, knows how much he means to me and how proud I am of him every day for trying to be better. I was blessed that my grandma ne lived near a park with a big field in Mississippi and a Boys and Girls Club. And that's where my journey today really starts. See, the Boys and Girls Club was my second home. It was my safe place to figure out who I was, who I wanted to be, and what I was good at. Nobody really ever asked me those questions. When I started middle school, I knew I wanted to play football, but there was one big problem. I didn't have a ride to and from football practice. The bus didn't run that late, and my grandma did not have a car. That's when our club director, Mickey Cullen, stepped in. Without any, anybody looking, Mr. Mickey gave me a ride to practice almost every day. Sometimes I spent the night at his house with his family. They became my family. They showed me a different life, a different world. But without that simple thing he did when I was 14 years old, I don't know where I'd be today, probably not here. Mr. Mickey still drives. He's sitting over there, right there, <laughs> after driving 2,000 miles from Tallahassee to see me graduate. When I finally showed up on campus in 2011, I was three weeks late for classes, even later on the football field, and really, really late learning how to be a college student. I had no idea what I was in for. Early on, things didn't go as well. I cut some corners in the classroom, and out on the football field, there was a long line of talented guys ahead of me. But I also learned that there's a reason they call this place the City of Angels. I was blessed with a bunch of angels who believed in me and helped me make me a better person. In the classroom, I was blessed with the help of all kinds of tools and learning special and academic staff. They never lost faith in me. If you think the Stanford D-line is tough, nah, these folks for real. 
They're relentless. They are the ones who really make this university great. My success is every bit of theirs. On the football field, I have to give a special shout out to a man, Coach Edge Ogeron and Tommy Robinson. Coach O believed in me and my ability when pretty much nobody else did. He gave me my first real shot back in 2013, and for that, I'm truly blessed. Coach Sark and his staff continue to believe in me, and for that, I'm always grateful. Um, I always knew that if someone just gave me a chance, I'd be ready and make the most of it. There was also a special angel who overlooked me every day. She passed away June 2013, Mr. Mickey's wife, Miss Alice Cullen, was like my second mom. I'll never forget when me and Miss Alice went to the grocery store and I tried to sneak stuff into the cart, but I thought she didn't see me. So when we got ready to check out, she goes, that's all you want? I go, no ma'am. I, I said, so we went down every hour and she said, get whatever you want. When we said goodbye to each other, I knew she would still be my guide and my protector. She was never far from me on the field or in the classroom. And I know she's here today. And I know she's proud of who I've become. I love you, Miss Alice. A lot of people deserve a lot of credit for getting me to this point. The first person in my family to graduate college. It's a great feeling to take it to the house in front of y'all on national television. But getting this degree is pretty amazing. I spoke in ways. I spoken way too long, so let's end it this way. <laughs> We've done a big thing here today. Graduated from USC as a student athlete. It might not feel like it, but we are an elite group, and people look up to you and me. But are you going to look back? Are you going to be someone's angel? Or are you ready to become someone's angel? That, that's a question I'm going to remember in the days of the years ahead of me. And even though I'm now a Baltimore Raven. I'll always be a Trojan. Fight on.